Hello everyone, this is Jason with For Geek Sakes, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to change the IP address of your CUCM cluster. Now, the goal is to move from one network to another network. Uh, now, keep in mind that in doing so, if you're in a live production network, this will um, terminate your the license you have associated to your CUCM but you can just contact Cisco and they'll give you a new license so you can rehost your IP address that you want so it's not a big deal but you do have to get involved with Cisco to do that if you're doing it in a production network now if you're doing it for lab purposes it doesn't really matter if you um, mess with the license because you're not paying for a new license you're just running on a demo license anyway all that being said let's get started so our current situation is we're on the 192.168.15.0 network and our goal is to go to the 192.168.1.0 network so the way that's done and before I get started when you're messing with these VMs you may mess up here and there something may go terribly wrong it's, it'll be a great idea for you to actually go to the to the uh, virtual machines that you're about to attempt to change the IP address on and create a snapshot that way if you mess something up you can always revert back to the snapshot and, and be able to start over fresh in, in fairly a pretty quick time versus messing up completely having to delete the VM image and, and start all over again so it would be a great idea for you to stop right now and create a snapshot of all of the images that you're about to mess around with what I like to do is to use a virtual server to actually browse to the publisher to make the changes on the IP addresses initially. So I'm going to log into my, well actually I'm going to go over to my Windows 2008 server that is on the 192.168.15.0 network and log into the publisher. Now it's all about doing things in a proper order. The first thing that I need to do is go to System Server, click on Find, change the subscriber's IP address, changing it to one dot one 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 dot eleven. Hit Save. All right, next I'm going to go over to the subscriber's command line interface. And since I'm actually going to need to change the default gateway, I'm going to go ahead and do that first before I change the IP address. And we do that by doing the set network gateway command. And that's fine. It just says it will cause the network to temporarily lose connection. We're going to hit yes on that. Now we're going to actually change the IP address of the subscriber. And we do need to put the subnet mask. And this is basically going to say, uh, by changing the IP addresses, you're going to lose the license that is, is associated to the IP address, which is fine. If you're in a production network, you need to go ahead and immediately call Cisco, tell them that you're making a change to the network, and you're going to need um, the uh, a new license for the uh, IP address that you're about to assign. And it is free of charge. Uh, it'll just be a time process. and as soon as you make the changes to the IP address it will immediately restart the servers while the subscriber is restarting we're gonna go ahead and go back over to our Windows 2008 server and change the IP address from the web admin page for the publisher Let's 
So we're going to go back. And we're going to go to our publisher. Change it to 1.10. Save. Now this next step we do need to wait for the subscriber to completely come back up so we'll sit around and wait for it okay the subscriber is starting to come up now and in a second you will see the new IP address of 192.168.1.11 there it is now what I need to do next is tell the subscriber to stop looking for the publisher at 192.168.15.10 and instead look for it at 192.168.1.10 and we do that by doing the set publisher command so that command is set network cluster publisher IP 192.168. Now we're going to go over to the publisher's command line interface. And because we're going to a new network that has a new default gateway, we need to initiate the set gateway command on the publisher as well yes Next, we need to set the network IP address. And in doing this, it will immediately restart the publisher. Okay, now that the publisher is coming back up, uh, you will notice that the IP address has changed to 192.168.1.10. There it is. We're going to give it just a little more time before the publisher completely stands up so you'll notice if we browse over to the Windows 2008 server that's on the 192.168.15.0 network you'll see that the publisher has timed out it is no longer available to that network so let's go over to the 192.168.1.0 network and see if everything is up and running on that side And this is my publisher IP address that we changed it to. Logged in. Okay, we logging in just fine. Now we're just going to do a simple replication test just by creating something in the publisher and then we're going to jump over to the subscriber to see if it replicated to the subscriber. So I'm going to create a partition and if I hit find you see there's no partitions here so I'm gonna create one called test okay 
so now we're gonna try to log into the subscriber and we need to see if the test partition got created over here and it did indeed guys so that means we successfully changed the IP addresses of both our publisher and subscriber and did a replication test and that was successful so that completes this tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed my video please continue to like comment and subscribe if you have any questions at all feel free to contact me via email phone or text I'd like to thank you for geek sakes